Hey guys, Kev here, and it's time for another Jack Wolf. All right, so we have the Javelina Jack, or as I always call it, the Javelina Jack. But as we know, it is Javelina. Because Spanish, that's why. I brought this along. So I'd have a slip for it right away. I'm at Target just waiting to go in, so. Here she is. Ooh, got that dark matter green, baby. Avelina Jack. All right. This, I will say, this one is one of the ones that did not interest me at all when he first showed, like back, you know, when he started this, you could go to his website and see images of all the prototypes. They're actually the Riot prototypes, but you can see those images there. And this one, the humpback, the, uh, the low drag, Benny's clip and the canine, I think. None of those really, I, I was like, eh, you know, um, you know, being that it's a collector thing, still going to get them all or would, you know, in, in this case, I'm getting them from him, but I still would, I would buy them all if I had to, because it's a collection type thing and they're still looking good. Just not like, you know, not my aesthetic taste, but canine, love it. Uh, low drag top three for me. So it changes, you know what I mean? Like, I wasn't that interested in the Venom Jack, honestly. I thought it looked cool, but I kind of liked the laid back better from the pictures. Venom Jack was my knife of the year last year. So it just experiencing the knife adjusts things. Now, I might still not like this one, but I'm just giving you, giving you a rundown. So here's the artwork. You got the Javelina Jack. Uh, it's called the Javelina because something or it's called a sow belly uh jack because something about it looking like a pig's ear or something from the side i don't know somebody can tell that story down below but that's why there's a pig involved here and i don't know if javelina is uh the word for pig in spanish or something i'm making shit up but there you go oh uh jack wolf hanging out with his uh pig brother right there cool artwork and we're going to get a pog of the same artwork right here. And we're going to get a pink Jack Wolf cloth. And you got a sticker that says, this piggy ain't little no more. <laughs> this piggy ain't little no more. It's kind of funny because I, um, I tell the... Uh, little piggy story to my daughter every single night. She has to hear the, sorry, the three pigs story every night. Um, which is, it's just funny to me that, isn't there usually a Jack Wolf sticker in here too? Maybe not. Um, what else was I going to say? Forget. Oh, shit. I dropped my pug, yo. Pog down, hold on. Shit. I'll look for that later. I, where the hell could that have gone? So weird. I'd be losing Jack Wolf shit like crazy. I lost a patch the other day. Uh, one thing I was going to say, sorry, I know. Uh, one thing I was going to say is this pink cloth seems a little off with the um, 
Ooh, uh, this uh, cloth seems a little off with the rest of the packaging coloring, but you know, since it, you know people want me to uh, come up with some negative shit about Jack Wolf, there you go. All right. The fuck happened to that pog? I need that. Um. Oh, okay. So the size again. This is what happened with the low drag. The size I like better in person than it looks like. I don't know. I just kind of feel like knives are bigger on in picture a lot than they really are, you know? Um, the dark matter green is very interesting. There is a lot of green. I will say out of these selections, which are um, Brittany Blue, Camo Carbon, some kind of Blaze Orange, I think, Camo Carbon, Purple Haze Fat Carbon, Dark Matter Green uh, Fat Carbon. And then, there's only five, right? And then there's Natural Micarta, I think, or Green. I don't know which one it is. I think the Brittany, the Purple, and the Blue, um, Brittany, Purple, and Orange maybe are a little more my style. But this does look cool. Um, so I may try to, you know, finagle something. And I'll just buy one and then sell this one or trade it or something like that try to get a uh i don't know which one i have a purple haze midnight which i love the coloring of but i have so the britney is probably the one i'd probably try to hunt down no. all right anyway i'm gonna shut up here it is let's open it see how the walk and talk is He said it wasn't the strongest spring out of the bunch, but wasn't the weakest. And that had me thinking it was gonna be on the softer side. No. This is, oh man. Dude, it's just like an addiction with these. Can't help it. And the OEM is just getting so much better at, I mean, and they were good to begin with, sorry top-notch walk and talk this blade is gorgeous now i don't love the belly up to the tip but this one has more of like a true rhino tip a rhino's horn where it kind of bellies then goes sort of straight up to the tip so it's kind of cool actually i really like that i know i don't prefer a clip point in general but if you're gonna give me a clip one, I think this is pretty solid ergos. Oh man, it's got a little bit of a pistol grip to it. I mean, it's got that sort of banana right here, but that really melts in your hand, shit. And it's not large at all. I mean, look, fills the hand perfectly for me. Good pinch grip. Let's see if I can pop it from Yeah, guys, it's another fucking good one. God damn it, Ben. You son of a bitch. I was already, I was already thinking of thumbnails that says, you know, something shitty about like a shitty jack wolf. I pooed on a jack wolf, something like that. I was already, God damn it, Ben. I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm super happy it came out this good. This, yeah. It's one of those guys. Uh, sometimes you gotta just experience shit. And that's where I suck, okay? So I had somebody recently tell me that, uh, let me just check the tip on this because it does look close to the, nope, it's not perfectly centered. Um, this one's off to the, uh, I can push it over, but it's off to this side. Very slightly, but it's off to this side over here. Um, and I haven't, I haven't tried to adjust it or anything. It's a tank. That's one of the big differences between Jack Wolves and other slip joints. This is rock solid, no blade play at all. And still has the same amazing jumpy walk and talk. Um, and it just break in more and more. So, um, 
Fuck, what was I saying? I don't even remember. Oh, experience. So, I had somebody recently tell me, Kev, you are full of shit. <laughs> Literally said you're full of shit, dude. Like, you like this knife, right? Um, it was a specific, not this knife, a, specific, a different knife. And he's like, you like this knife? It has a tip that's up high. You don't like tips that are up high. Um, it's flipper only. You don't like flipper only. It doesn't even have a clip. Like, you've never been into knives without a clip, right? And what I said to that was, dude, I totally understand where you're coming from. Like, and I, and I, and I argued with him a little bit because it hit me. Like, it, it, it struck a nerve. And it was like, what he was getting at was, I just am saying these things are good because my friend owns the company in this case, or in the knife that we're talking about, I was going to use this, this company as an OEM. So I'm just saying it's good because I want to, I want to use them as an OEM and I want people to think it's good, I guess. So when my knives come out, they think it's good, but like what people have to understand is that I'm, I grow, I learn, I get, I change, right? I get better. Um, not, it's not always for the better, but I change, right? And if you go back a year, you'll see, I did not carry knives that didn't have clips. Uh, everything I liked had to have a low tip, right? When did these things change? When Ben introduced Jack Wolf to me and the way he introduced it was the reason why it stuck with me and the reason why I I am so interested now and the reason why I've literally designed a slip joint right is because he introduced it with my kind of thing so he didn't just say here's a traditional knife you know it, I hope you like it right no he introduced it with titanium on it m390 on it a belt satin on it fucking fat carbon on it right he introduced it with badass packaging and marketing that is um modern and and catches my eye right it still has all the traditional vibes to it but it has that modern stuff caked in and that's what drew me in and then the knife solidified it right and I had to experience it to understand it, right? And I, this is what I'm saying, this is what I struggle with in my, in my life in general, food, clothes, everything. If it doesn't catch my eye or it doesn't interest me immediately, I'm like, no, fuck that, right? Or if I've had one experience with something you know, and, and I'm just like, eh, you know, I don't like turkey, you know. I, I've never really liked turkey growing up Thanksgiving, so I don't want anything with fucking turkey. Don't give me a turkey sub. Don't give me a fucking, you know, uh, a gobbler at Wawa. Don't give me a, a whatever, right? But then my wife delivers an amazing meal, right? Uh, a, a wrapped uh, chicken cutlet thing with fucking a uh, goat cheese and and then fucking just a baller meal the other night right this is just an example baller ass meal fucking loved it and i'm eating it and i'm like halfway through and she's talking to my fucking two-year-old and telling her oh, it's fine she's like it's just it's turkey or whatever and i'm like it's turkey i thought this was chicken what the fuck like i didn't actually get mad but uh, sarcastically i'm like oh shit now i don't now i can't eat this and she's like dude you were crushed like you were over here raving about it. Now it's turkey and you, you don't want anything to do with it? That's how my brain works. Now, I love that meal, dude. I want more fucking turkey, right? That's what happened here. Okay? With the example before of that OEM, I got the knife in. They sent me the knife to check out before I used them. I got the knife. I fucking bought it. I didn't have to. I... I was like, dude, I want this. And I paid him $400 to keep it. I'm not going to do that if I don't think it's good, right? 
Um, but I had to experience that knife. On paper, no, you're right. Tips too high, flipper only, no clip, what? Get it in hand, butter action. Amazing button, um, button push. What is it, push button, flipper tab. Um, dope ass slim, you know, uh, silhouette that fits in the pocket beautifully in a slip. Like, dope ass looking blade shape that I really like. And I got a label printer six months ago or whenever. So now those low tip knives aren't as important to me because I'm not cutting shipping labels constantly. That's not the only thing I do with my knives anymore. So I can use different knives. I can grow and, and I'm growing and learning and I'm, and I'm like expanding, right? But I have to experience things to do that. So you'll hear me say things in previous videos and that will change, right? Um, I mean, I'm sure I've done it with a million things. But anyway, I just wanted to point that out. This knife fucking killed it again. I don't know. I like, I, you know, and I'm going to stop doing this, okay? Because every fucking time I do a video now, I feel like I have to explain why I'm saying how good it is. They're just fucking good. They're just that good. Believe me or don't believe me, it's not going to change the fact that this is a fantastic fucking knife. Now, I haven't cut with it or anything, um, but if it's anything like the other 10 I have, stupid ass 10,000 behind the edge, sharp, full hollow grind, it's going to be a home run. This is an S90V, so he's rolling with S90V now. Super ergonomic. Um, really digging the um, walk and talk. It's very comfortable to open and close. Like you can see, no sharp corners anywhere that I'm catching as I open and close it. Lots of pinchability right here. It's not like the Venom, but it's more than enough. Yeah, this is a good one. So 17 minutes. And you guys had to listen to a 10 minute rant. I apologize, but I had to say it. And uh, here's a here's a look at it in this slip. This is the Lancelot leather slip that he made for a tactile bear. Um, it just covers that a little bit sticks out, I guess. And it definitely bananas a little bit, right? So bananas over to the side. So I don't know, me being me, I would, I will get a custom slip for this knife that kind of has that built in. Troy will kill that, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, the only thing I can say about it that I don't love is probably the centering isn't dead on on this one. Again, I haven't uh, messed with it at all. So that could change. Um, and it's, it's really close, but you know, I'm nitpicky. And I don't love the uh, dark matter green. I like it. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, but out of the other selections, now that I've seen them, um, I think on paper, had I been told all of the colors, I probably would have really been interested in this green. But now that I've seen them, I think the Brittany blue is where I'm at because that one's going to be unique to the line. Um, this is too. I don't think he's done dark matter green yet, but um, yeah, I'm definitely more of a, a Britney blue guy. <laughs> anyway, I'll figure that out. But uh, I love you guys. Another good one here, the Javelina Jack. Let me know what you think down below. Um, damn, that walk and talk is snappy and spunky, dude. Um, I'll do a full review on this guy that'll drop right before the drop, probably which means I gotta do it pretty quick because I'm already booked out to the ninth. Um, but anyway, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Love you all. And I will catch you later.